Okay, switching to this now. After more than eight months at sea, thousands of service members will finally reunite with friends and their loved ones. Now the Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group is on the way home, and Casey Baylor is live at Naval Station Norfolk this morning. Casey, this is a long-awaited return for these service members and their loved ones. Ashley, we expect to see a lot of signs, a lot of flags, and some big smiles here at Naval Station Norfolk. It comes after a, an extended deployment for the Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group. Now, we saw a lot of excitement over the weekend. That's because several other squadrons made their way back here to Hampton Roads. On Sunday, two squadrons returned to Naval Station Norfolk and four returned to Naval Air Station Oceana yesterday. Monday, Secretary of the Navy Carlos Dotoro spoke to service members aboard the USS Gerald R. Ford. Soon the crew will return from the Ford's first deployment since it was commissioned. The strike group had their deployment extended for nearly 80 days after being redirected to the Mediterranean Sea to respond to fallout from the Israel Hamas war. Secretary del Toro commended not just the crew away at sea. Your families, your spouses, your loved ones, your children, are as great American heroes as each and every one of you are. And later this morning, members of the Helicopter Sea Combat Squadron are expected to make their way back here at Naval Station Norfolk. We're live in Norfolk. I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News Now. Casey, thank you. We certainly want to say welcome home to all of them. Thank you, Casey.